Okay, guys, here we go. We have uh, the challenge here, last week's challenge uh, called Old School Co-op. And I doubted it so because uh, only uh, P0 commanders are allowed, so no prestiges. And the challenge is to beat Malwarfare with uh, Minesweeper and Double Edged mutators so not too hard of a challenge for some commanders of course it would be a nightmare for some not so hard so we have the <coughs> familiar pair over here familiar pair of players uh, judas and jedrex uh, playing so jedrex is playing as artanis and zagara is uh, playing as uh, uh, Zagar, Judas is playing as uh, uh, Zagara. Uh, so, as you can see, no prestiges, mutators are here. So, Minesweeper, if you are not quite familiar with uh, Mutator yet, uh, it's uh, groups of Widow Mines and Spider Mines are buried throughout the battlefield. There are 25 patches uh, of mines uh, on the map, each containing 5 Widow Mines and 7 spider mines uh, so the distance between two patches uh, center to center is uh, i believe eight uh, so they cannot overlap but uh, patches are not kind of round uh, form they can be uh, uh, oddly shaped uh, one uh, mind that sticks at the side might be kind of close to the other patch but they can never overlap because distance is too uh, too high okay so we having we having okay no pylon yet that's uh, good because I have to take up uh, as fast as possible as Yadrik so he's actually um, just uh, making tech structures as fast as possible while uh, Judas okay let's go to uh, production he has bailing nest ready which is good now he just needs a uh, uh, layer for overseers, but I think the I think uh, Yadrex will provide detection in time. It's now has to start a robo and immediately robo and then the pilot council for upgrades. Okay, so uh, widow mines, of course, and spider mines deal a lot more damage than normal. The uh, spider mines we uh, have more health, at least the widow mines they have 180 normal. Normally they would have 90, but in this mutator they have 180. As you can see, this is kind of uh, pretty bad. Mines from they are already here, and they need to be cleared before uh, Orana proceeds. Now, yeah, 52% uh, Chrono for Ben. That's really good because uh, uh, he has uh, Chrono Mastery, and uh, it's normal 22.5, but now it's 52.5. That means 52.5% uh, more Bane links because it affects the you see that this is going a lot faster than normal so uh, it will be more free bane links over here so it's almost kinda in scourge queen range not quite 100 percent would be in a scourge queen shrine but but half more than halfway there okay so now these dragoons have a six range with them might simply have five so they have to, he has to be careful but he's now getting the range and then this uh, upgrade now truly compression system will be pretty important uh, because they will have a uh, plus 20 life and sh uh, and the shield regeneration rate is double and also allows the dragoons to regenerate shield in combat which will counter double edge pretty good now observe this uh, if Zagara if Zagara's Bane links hit units uh, Zagara will not uh, take damage back from double edged but if uh, now they're hitting this pylon too so Zagara actually was uh, he received a lot of damage now double edged of course the damage is dealt back but it's healed i believe nine uh, hp over time so the units that deal uh, more uh, less than uh, nine that have less than nine dps like uh, zagara's zerglings will feel no effects because they will out heal it easily here yeah, this was very bad mind spawn the first patch was here the second one is here and the third one as you can see these uh, marks on the ground indicate that there is another patch of mines over there, so Arana already uh, uh, are, is receiving significant damage. Okay, so now, okay, ah, kinda okay. So to prevent more damage, 
from uh, this is kind of panic button. Okay, Guardian Shell is a god tier now. Uh, Yadrex yeah, has a shield uh, overcharge mastery. I was kind of always using uh, uh, Guardian Shell Master if I was not P, uh, P3 because with P3 you don't have Guardian Shell. But the thing is, I, r I realized that it's not so important. It's important very existence of Guardian Shell and like uh, the four seconds immunity that it provides for unit and then it restores 15% uh, of units uh, life and shields, but that uh, additional 15% so it can go up to 30 with master is not so important how much the very existence of guardian shell because then enemy ch enemy switch target uh, and um, because unit is immune to damage for four seconds and that's that's actually the most important so you will see now okay Zagara will actually not do it but uh, okay now she will but no damage you can see because it's only hit units uh, so yeah, shield overcharge actually like two two hundred shields normally, but with mastery ninety percent increase it's three hundred eighty, so it's pretty good. And you can see dragoons how fast they regen their uh, shield. So with this truly compression system, it's actually uh, uh, it's actually uh, they are really good. Uh, well, overall really good units, but with double edged, they can pretty easily pretty fast out here all the damage especially the like the shields okay now you will see probably here yeah, we're getting some zergling and bailing damage cool, some damage in the mines okay zagara hits these mines okay so you see the dragoons will actually they don't quite uh, outheal the double-edged completely. So if, if they shoot at the same target for a long time, they will die if not safe, if they if cannot be saved like this has already was already saved by Guardian Shell, so cannot they cannot be saved again, so they will die. But you have you have just to uh, pull them away for a few seconds and then they will regen and you can go back in combat. Now Zagara Okay, doing this. Okay, I don't know, energy, it's speed. Okay, oh, the guy almost died. There, yeah. Doesn't regen that fast. Okay, now. <laughs> now it hit the suppression tower because it's structure and Judas is kind of what? <laughs> I don't know if he knew that. And uh, they are kind of now confusing <laughs> themselves. Uh, okay, let's speed it up. Another question mark. And <laughs> they confusing each other. How did Zags die? Okay. So now it's uh, pretty okay. Uh, Dragon upgrades. So have one one. Okay, now they have to go. But being Judas in the game, that means that bonus has to be done because Judas always wants bonus. But now they cannot focus on bonus because they have to pu they have to push. Okay, going in. Okay, yeah, this is kind of okay-ish. That will kill some mines if they are there. Also, some units over here, immortals, that do a lot of damage to dragoons. Okay, yeah, Zagara will now go to defend. Okay, this is good siege upon observer to see uh, everything over here. Well, okay, Zagara goes forward. Bending barrage. Oh, no mines. Okay, good shields. But, uh, okay, he has to go actually. Better if he warped units first and then use shields. Okay, shields are now kind of done. Good thing is that, uh, as I can see, there are no mines over here, so no problem here. Bonus is starting. Okay, there are some mines here, but yeah, Guardian Shell really Guardian Shell is really good for Zagara. Okay. A bonus is done. Okay, so this overseer, okay, this Guardian Shell saves it. And it's immune, and I, I believe it will. Live, yeah, it lives. Okay, yeah, Guardian Shell, really good. Okay, 
Okay, now it's pretty comfortable situation. Orana always heals uh, 5,000 HP in the terminal inside when, he, when she retreats. So if uh, health uh, is not below 3,000, then she will regen to the full 8,000. Okay, now we have another suppression tower. So you can see how dragoons are gradually losing health, but when they are pulled back, then they will regen. You have a lot of them that I can actually kill the tower before. They are in danger. Ooh, who Zagara could. Zagara will probably have to be saved by Guardian Shell here because this will. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, so. Uh, Vid of Mines deal a lot of damage. You can see that uh, 250 damage plus 335 against the shields to the primary target and 80 damage and plus 40 versus shields splash the units nearby. Cooldown 40 seconds, Widow Mines are one time use units that deal 250 damage uh, to, I think, everything they splash on, so... They are suicidal units. Okay, no structures here. Luckily this Banelink Barrage didn't reach the, the, the structures, otherwise the Gara could have been in trouble. Okay, this is really good Solar Bombardment over here. Okay, all this stuff, there's some mines still here. Okay, it would be good to get observer in front. Like for Zagara, it would be good to get a few zerglings in front to actually wait all the mine shots, but they will still be saved by Guardian Shell. Okay, now we have some Siege Tobs over here, that's pretty good. Siege Tobs provide 50% more uh, vision radius. Okay, we're going here. Okay, there are mines over there, but... Uh, Ob sees now sieging other Obs over here. Okay, I mean, attack wave was, was dealt with easily. Banelings are also really good against Double Edge, they're suicidal, so... They don't care about damage dealt back. No, I see how this all Zerglings would die without uh, Guardian Shell. Now we have 3 2 2. For Zagara, we have 1 1 for now, but I believe that yeah, 2 2 is soon. Even Flyer attacks for Scourge. Flyer armor is not required because, of course, Scourge are also suicidal. Okay, power fields are annoying. Maybe aberration or two would be good addition here to break those things. Aberrations are massive, so they would break the force fields. Okay, going here. Okay, so uh, yeah, Yadrix is now. Almost max Judas is supply, of course, varies because he's Zagara. Okay, oh, that's a lot of hatch. How many hatcheries do we have? Hive plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hatchery. Okay, so eleven production facility. That's a, that's a lot. That's more than enough, probably. It would be good actually to have now a few hatcheries uh, for a few forward hatcheries. So he doesn't have to rally from home. Okay, I would have a fewer over here, but uh, then add at least like two or three over here to to have a uh, forward forward production. So I don't have to rally all the way from home because he didn't even uh, spread the creep. But okay, I mean creep spreading like it's a lot of. It looks easy like this, but you have to be careful, so uh, maybe creep spreading would be too much. No, no, it's almost max army of dragoons there on 3 3. Good thing that he actually prioritizes armor and shield to keep him alive. Okay, there are a few mines here, but they uh, they will not. They will not. Meme. 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 Mimi, okay. There we go. 
Okay, Judas is... Uh, Yedrex is dealing with these guys. Shields. And we're good to use shields now. A lot of energy. Shields, 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 shields. Okay, he's actually pulling, pushing in and doesn't need to because the first tower is here, then the second will be here. There will never be a tower here, but it seems that he wants to go full clear. Full clear was not part of the challenge, but okay, I'm going full clear, good. Dr even the roach drop over here, okay, now have to fight this one. Okay, good thing is to kill them before they can force field you. <coughs> it's kind of successful here. Okay, not so much over here. Oh, there's still some buildings here. I believe they would be clear. Okay. Oh, baby, that's it. Okay, solar. And that's it. So it is pretty comfortable with these two commanders. P zeros. And there we go. <laughs> I keep trying to dip down. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he's used to playing uh, Big Mama, the Apex Predator, and this is of course P0, so no deep tunnel available. Okay, let's parse the replay to see uh, actually the <clears throat> the overlay. Okay, here we go. So 50-50, pretty good. <laughs> uh, Okay, even mine, mines wise, Yedrex killed more because uh, Dragoons, of course, good. But Judas also killed. Uh, okay, many of the. I don't know if the triggered uh, spider mines actually count as the killed ones. Because uh, there, there are tr 300 mines. Okay, uh, in the main base, if they are some deployed, then they, they are deleted at the start of the game. Uh, so two or three patches might be deleted at most. So, but uh, should be like 300. So they kill like 100, and they did it full clear. I don't know if they cleared every single mine, but most of them. So that's 251 mine killed. Not sure if uh, spider mines that actually did damage that they suicide themselves count. Uh, I think they do. Mm, actually, I can't say, not sure if they showed over here okay dragoon of course the most killed because uh, uh, there were only dragoons okay <laughs> for, for few zealots for tin okay can, for tanking and uh our tiny stop bar okay 335 dragoons lost that's acceptable they are not too expensive uh -huh, and uh, of course for zagara bane links most damage master is good shield overcharge speed increase and uh because energy region does nothing for for dragoons they don't have abilities they don't have energy so uh, so it does nothing speed in so speed increase is okay and cro chrono boost efficiency yeah okay because with p0 you don't, don't use a lot of energy i mean orbital strikes are minor thing they are not very helpful so, uh, so that's okay so yeah, for guys, for Guardian Shell, I don't know if I finish my sentence, yeah, the Guardian Shell, I did do use it, like, you want to use it when you are, like, P2, uh, because, Master, because, uh, of course, then you spending a lot, most energy for projecting power fields, so you don't want to use too many, to shields too many times, but, uh, uh, otherwise, shield regen is kind of probably always better. Uh, so we have, well, that's it actually, Suppression Tower has most kills, and so probably will kill Zerglings and Banelings. Okay, uh, that's it, guys, hope you liked it, like and subscribe if you did, you can su also support me on uh, Patreon, and thanks for watching.